We're gonna add Mormon roll. Early settlement. Mormon people. Little map here, a Mormon roll, and behind us is the Thomas Perry homestead. That's that one, right there in the back. And now we're driving towards uh, Andrew and Ida's chambers of homestead. That's the uh, groups of house over there. Yep, you can see all these homestead barns and houses. And this is the Molten Barn, one of the most iconic barn, yeah, biggest one. Yeah. So here's the Mormon Road. This is the John Mountain homestead. I think we just went to his uh, barn over there. <laughs> so if you on the ground, something from his barn. Should yeah. go all the way <laughs> across the street. So there is a 19th century. Uh, there's three, 33 homestead. That means 33 residents, right? 33 houses. There's a school and a church. And here you, go, you can see the wrenches. It's really nice, actually. about Mormon roads, you know? Yeah, it's hard to imagine how they live here in the winter. Super cold, lack of resources. You have to farm your own vegetable and meat. Do they eat meat? Mormon? Probably. Yeah, they do, they do. I mean, they probably have some like... Cattle. Cattle. Chicken. Yeah, steak. Mormon steak. And it's raining, it's snowing again. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it's definitely worth checking out when you're on the east side of the Grand Teton. There's a lot of people yeah. coming on this side. There is, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not like, I don't think it has a lot of like... Not that many lakes and yeah. stuff. It's more like mountain views yeah. and nature, animal spotting yeah. places. Yeah, so definitely we check didn't out. We really go into like the history yeah. why they came here and all that stuff, but it's pretty, pretty cool to check it out. Yep, alright. Now we're gonna have some food. We got some breakfast, I'm gonna eat some. More like brunch. Brunch, let's eat some brunch. Ah, oh, snowing again. <laughs> yeah, I know, the snow is like horizontal. <laughs> Brunch time! Got croissant, bacon, and sausage. Still warm. Still warm. 